Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be my melting basket for the week of March 29th through the 4th. Um, I do have some empties from last week. Uh, I had a lot of bigger melts that week, so I didn't have a lot of empties. Um, so this one right here is zucchini bread, candy corn, sugar cookie royale from L3, Waxy Wonders. And from what I remember, it smelled really good. It was a really, really tiny sample. And I used it in a in like um a wall plug-in. If she had it in a bigger one, I would buy it. I'm not sure if she does so. And then this one is my Caviar Dreams uh Rasmataz one. It, it smelled good and the throw was decent. Um, I just wish when warm it smelled stronger. It was really pretty. It had like really pretty um, glitter. So then this week is the week of Easter and I decided to do a kind of like candy slash sugar theme. So instead of going with the vendors, like the three vendors like I was doing the past couple weeks, I decided to do anything that was like candy related or Easter shaped or whatever. So this one is from L3 Waxy Wonders. It is a Bitty Betty Loaf scented um, in cream soda and bubble gum. It literally smells like double bubble, like that pink bubble gum. I'm kind of nervous to melt it because I don't want it to be too strong. Um, next I have, I think it's Threshold brand, um, Pineapple Station Sugar Cane. Uh, obviously the sugar cane is what made me put it in my basket this week. It definitely smells like sugared pineapple. Um, I haven't melted a Target scent, like Target um, wax melt in a really long time. So I'm curious to see how that performs. And then we have Birdies Making Scents. Um, these are, sorry, I'm like, I'm, I'm filming on my iPad so that it's easier, but... Birdie's making sense. This is obviously in the shape of a peep. Uh, blueberry marshmallow peep. It smells like blue raspberry lollipops, kind of. But I like it. And then from Nana Makes Sense. This is in the shape of an egg with like a little bunny on it. The scent is Peeps and Cotton Candy. It's a very like, very subtle scent. Um, kind of like a sweet candy, but like not overloaded with sugar. Also from Birdie Make birdies making sense um i have this break me bar which is velvet sugar type obviously the sugar so this one is a blend of red velvet cream and golden plum laced with a swirl of sugared musk pink jasmine and wild strawberries um it doesn't scream candy, obviously, but it's still a really nice smell. Next, from Keep It Waxy, this is a new to me shop. Um, this is Ron, which is vanilla, caramel, fruit, and candy. Oh, I don't get fruit or candy out of it at all. Like, it kind of just smells, um, like, musky. 
but I guess we'll see how it is when it warms. Also, this like packaging really sucks. Just throwing that out there. And then from To the Moon and Back Creations, I have Baby Girl, which is Fairy Floss Watermelon Lemonade and Blue Raspberry Hard Candy. That's such a good like mix of things. Oh my god. But such a good mix of things. Um really excited to melt that. It smells really good. Another birdie's making sense. Um, this is in banana cream pie. It smells like banana candy, like artificial banana so I guess we'll see how that melts if it's too strong I'll probably throw something else in with it and then Nana makes sense we have bunny ears which is sugar cookie vanilla buttercream and pink sugar definitely smells like um you can smell like the vanilla and the cookie that smells really good. And then lastly, I have Sugared Almond from Caviar Dreams. Uh, this is caramelized brown sugar, sorry, caramelized brown sugar, sweet almonds, rich vanilla, and butter. And this smells like heavenly. Like, I can smell it through the package, and I cannot wait to melt this. Maybe I'll melt it today because it's Monday now, and yeah. So, that's my basket for the week. I honestly might not have any empties. Maybe these, like, um, peep ones. I will. If you like this video and like to see more, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.